Even while you might be able to locate short-term loans for those with poor credit, you should be aware that these loans can be rather costly. Before you apply for a short-term loan, it is essential to give careful consideration to whether or not you are a good candidate for such a loan. There is a possibility that lenders will nevertheless take into consideration your application for a short-term loan even if you have poor credit information. On the other hand, interest rates that are higher than average make them an expensive kind of borrowing, and the repayments can be quite large. Therefore, it is essential to ensure that you are able to afford it. In the event that you take out a loan with a shorter term, you will not be required to make repayments over a period of many years. In spite of the fact that short-term loans have interest rates that are greater than those of conventional personal loans, the fact that the loan is for a shorter period of time may result in you paying less interest overall. Before submitting an application for a short-term loan, it is usually a good idea to think about other options and thoroughly analyze your options. What are short-term loans? Short-term loans are typically loans for relatively small amounts that you repay in installments over a shorter period of time. You usually have between 1 to 12 months to pay back a short-term loan, whereas the minimum loan term for a standard personal loan is often 12 months or more. Because of the smaller amounts and shorter terms involved, there may be less involved when applying for a short-term loan and receiving the money than with other personal loans. This means that you might consider a short-term loan to cover unexpected or emergency expenses, for example. But because short-term lenders consider borrowers who have a poor or limited credit history, they charge higher interest rates when compared with standard personal loans. This is to cover the increased risk that borrowers may default on their repayments. Are short-term loans the same as payday loans? You might hear people use the phrases short-term loan and payday loan interchangeably. Both refer to relatively expensive loans for small amounts that you agree to repay quickly. However, payday loans are designed to tide you over until you next get paid, when you make one repayment, with interest, to settle your debt. A short-term loan, on the other hand, works in the same way as other loans, whereby you spread your repayments over monthly installments. Can you get short-term loans for bad credit? Finding short-term loans with a bad credit history is possible. Short-term loan providers usually consider people with a poor or limited credit history who might struggle to get cheaper credit elsewhere. However, lenders are still required by the regulator, the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, to check that borrowers can afford the loan repayments. The FCA has also told lenders that they should not use phrases like no credit check loans when advertising their products. Typically, most lenders will perform a hard credit check when you apply for a loan, which will show up on your credit report. This check gives the lender information about how you've managed financial products in the past. Lenders can also take other information into account when deciding whether to give you a loan, such as your regular income and expenditure. A lender may be acting irresponsibly if it doesn't gather enough information to work out whether you can repay the loan. Keep in mind that missing repayments on a short-term loan will harm your credit file. Factors like this mean that short-term loans are unlikely to be the right choice if you have a history of missing repayments or you have other debt that you're struggling to clear. How much do short-term loans cost? Short-term loans can be expensive, and if you already have bad credit, lenders may offer a higher rate of interest to help mitigate the risk of you not repaying the loan. Lenders are required by the FCA to display a representative annual percentage rate, APR, when advertising their products, which shows you the cost of borrowing over a year. However, short-term loans are often taken out over less than a year, so the representative APR can be very high because the costs are multiplied to give the average cost for a year. The FCA has capped the costs of high-cost short-term credit, where the APR is 100% or more and the term is less than 12 months, making sure that you Never repay more in fees and interest than 100% of what you borrowed. Don't pay more than 0.8% of the amount borrowed a day in interest and fees. Don't pay more than £15 in fees for default. While these caps limit the total cost of the loan, it's still helpful to use the representative APR on short-term loans to compare costs. The higher APR shows you that short-term loans are a very expensive way to borrow and not appropriate if you have longer-term borrowing needs. Keeping up with repayments and settling the debt within the agreed term is vital. 
If you don't think that you can keep up with the repayments or would prefer longer to pay back the loan, you should consider alternatives. Is a short-term loan right for you? You can take these steps when considering whether to apply for a short-term loan. Check your credit score. Your credit score indicates the type of credit that you can apply for and the likelihood of being accepted. It should give you an idea of whether you can apply for an alternative, potentially cheaper form of credit, such as a 0% interest credit card. Some online services allow you to get a report for free, giving you insights on improving your credit score. Check your budget. A budget can help you work out if a short-term loan is absolutely necessary and whether you can afford the repayments. Consider whether the need to plug gaps is a common problem. After creating a budget and checking your previous account statements, you might find that you're constantly applying for credit to cover costs. If you already rely on credit, you risk getting into a cycle of debt, where loan repayments stack up and you can't keep up with them. If this sounds familiar, a short-term loan probably isn't the solution. Speak to a free debt charity such as Step Change or National Deadline. These services can help you budget and come up with a plan to clear any existing debt. They can also help you work out whether you're receiving all the benefits and other income support you're eligible for.